So we're going to finish up our discussion of the second article of the Apostles' Creed by talking about the redemptive work of Christ and what that means about our identities going forward. So this is all the fun stuff that starts on Palm Sunday and ends when Jesus returns on the last day. Uh, Jesus suffers and dies. He dies for us and he dies a terrible, horrible, awful death. When we say Christ suffered, we mean that every sin that has, that was committed before his incarnation, during and after, was put on him so that we might not be damned to hell, but that we might be re reunited with our Heavenly Father. And so this redemption that Jesus works comes at a very high cost. We cannot pay him back. We were bought from sin, death, and the devil, not with gold or silver, but with Jesus's precious, innocent blood. We cannot pay God back, but he is not expecting us. He is giving all of this to us in love, and it is that same blood and body that we eat and drink every time we celebrate the Lord's Supper. It is that same water that flowed from the riven Savior's side, combined with the word that puts God's name onto you and me. We are no longer measly worms trying to appease a God that we will constantly fail. We have been made children of the Almighty God. And what that means is when God looks at us, he does not see me, a poor, miserable sinner. He sees his son. We have been made heirs of eternal life. We have been made the redeemed and beautiful bride of Christ. And so everything we do from this point forward is in this new resurrection reality. We've been redeemed. We've been made new. We have been given new life, both now and in the not yet. And as we continue to discuss our identity, as we find it in the Apostles' Creed, we're going to talk about how we live in the world and how we live in the church and how the things that happened on the day of our baptism, the things that happened on the day of Good Friday and Easter Sunday all matter and have all made us who we are. But as children of God, we are given the great gift of asking our Heavenly Father, of going to him, of coming to him and saying, you put your name on me. That means that I am your problem now. Things are going bad. Do something about it. You said you would. Now do that. And it's a, it can, it's a great comfort that we have to say, Jesus is my brother and God is my father and nobody can undo that.